second part of my Sephora haul. I think all of this stuff is basically new arrivals, things that are like just launched. So I was really excited that they did that like right before the sale ended. So I got some good things and then I also have like four items that are from Sephora but I was so excited to share them with you. I just couldn't wait to share them with you for another video so I'm just going to kind of stick it in this video so I hope you don't mind. So I'm going to start there. The first thing I wore in my last Sephora haul and I Got this on sale for the Shop Up uh, Friends and Family sale, and it is basically this LNA top. I absolutely love it. It's um, pretty long, and I just like the destroyed look, you know, destroyed pants, um, just kind of cut out tops. So that is why I decided to, I, that is why I like this. And it's pretty long, so it gives a nice kind of flow to your look, if, especially if you're wearing some skinny jeans so I got a medium in this top in case any of you are wondering and then there were these. So Saks had a friends and family 30% off sale which I have been waiting to buy these for probably a couple of months and they never went on sale so I was going to get them from Revolve Clothing and then I found them at Saks for 30% off and I was super excited. They are from True Religion and they are basically camo jeans. I <laughs> love these and I love them because they're more of like this olive gray color and not a green color so basically I could wear it with yellow white black there's a pretty good rise to them it's not super low where it's going to show your butt crack and it's not high where you feel like you're gonna have a camel toe kind of like a mid-rise and just a word of caution if you wanted to buy these these run big so I was so happy that I read the reviews prior to purchasing them because you do want to go down a size. I'm normally a 27 and so I went to a 26 and they fit perfectly and there's some stretch in them. So just to let you guys know there's a lot of stretch in these, um, a lot of stretch. So if you are curious in buying them, True Religion pants always have a tendency to stretch out and run big. So definitely go down a size but I cannot wait to like do like an Instagram picture or an outfit of the day with these because I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them and that was one of the purchases <laughs> this year that I was so excited Everybody about. Everybody that watches me knows that I'm a Kerastase fanatic. So they came out with this new shampoo and I'm, I'm going to put it in my favorites video because my hair has never been healthier, shinier after one use. And it is their brand new shampoo and I think it's called Chronologist. 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 Um, there's a certain ingredient that after one or two uses of the shampoo, your hair feels and is as good of shape as with the hair that you were born with. So basically, it just kind of turns back time. And if you have a lot of damage to your hair, if you're blonde, this particular shampoo will make your hair feel like a child's hair. I'm not even joking. Like it, I don't have any product in my hair whatsoever. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I didn't even want to curl it because it just feels so shiny. It is so shiny and so incredibly soft that I can't, like I can't even speak. I love the orange line and I love how that just really smooths out my hair, but this is a freaking miracle worker. This is like the Luna oil for your hair. Luna oil from Sunday Riley does wonders after one use. This is basically like the Luna oil for your hair. After one use, it leaves your hair so incredibly manageable, soft, shiny, amazing. So I will put the link below. I am not affiliated with Kerastase. I wish I was. Uh, I pay for all of these products myself. They don't know who I am. So just to let you know, this is truly coming from um, like a consumer. I'm not like promoting their product. I absolutely love this stuff. So, um, 100% one more, work. Okay, one more product and then we'll get into Sephora stuff. The It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination CC Cream. 
I love this stuff. I've been wearing it for the past couple of days. I found mine at Ulta. If you liked the original version, you will be in love with this version. I feel like it has more coverage, more luminosity. I mixed it today with my Cover FX Custom Drops, and the coverage was insane. Like I didn't even probably need to use my Custom Drops because that is how pigmented and what an amazing coverage this gives. A color correcting, illuminating, full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum, SPF 50 plus freaking amazing you will be absolutely blown away with the results especially if you are have aging skin dehydrated skin it is amazing so if you guys want to see like a get ready with me with this i probably plan on doing that anyway so moving on to the stuff from sephora so the first thing i got was the glam glow height power cleanse it's the daily dual cleanser this is what it looks like i have the mask and i'm absolutely in love with the mask so i figured that i would like this as well and i do this is a wonderful kind of gel cleanser that removes all traces of dirt it removes your makeup at dual sides so one so one side is the oil and one side is like the mud and then when you mix it together on your face it just really cleans out everything and then it leaves your skin feeling super soft. It's one of those things where if you have like a long day of crap that you have to deal with, a good pampering sesh at the end of your day is totally needed, especially if you have So if Makeup have Forever came out with these new Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzers. I got two because one is illuminating and then one is matte. That is what I gather because I so yeah, that's what I figured because it's I got 10M, which is the matte, and then I got 15I. So it just has the same packaging as their normal bronzer. And then I really, okay, so this is what it looks like. But what's interesting, it has like these this weighty pattern. That's the 10. That is more of like a yellow based one. Like that is more of like a yellow based bronzer. So, and it's completely matte. Um, but I think I like this 15i. This is illuminating, and the color might be a little bit more up my alley. I probably should have gone for the 20, so I can do like an up close. But this is the 15i, and you can tell when you swatch it, it has some illuminating properties in it. It has very subtle, very subtle like glitter specks throughout. I will give you guys an update on these. So far, I like it. I'm wearing the 10 today. It's very easy to blend. You cannot overdo it with these bronzers. It's um, What I really like about them is that they're not powdery whatsoever. So you can really use like a kabuki brush or a fluffy brush and uh, you'll be able to build up the color very nicely without get, making such a mess or having to blend it out on, out on your face. Marc Jacobs came out with these lip creams and I just got one and I got Georgie Girl because it's a very light pink color and it's pretty creamy and pigmented. So that is what the color looks like. It's kind of like a mid-tone pink. I wouldn't say light. It's definitely more of like a medium uh, baby doll pink. And So pretty. I was shopping around Sephora. There was a day that I just took my son and we just went shopping and uh, the girl was showing me like the newest brand that came out called Ciate, I think, C-I-A-T-E. I got a liquidy velvet lipstick and one of their cream blushes. So the price point is pretty nice. It's not that, it's not like overly priced, but these are freaking amazing. Like I could not believe when I would put it on my lips how nicely it felt and how it stayed all day without creasing or kind of breaking apart on my lips. So the shade that I picked up was, um, I don't think it says, she was wearing this on her lips and that's why I wanted to pick it up because she had it on and it's a, oh, it's smitten. It's this really nice raspberry strawberry shade. So she had this on and I loved it because I did not have anything like it. It has a doe foot, a doe foot applicator, but it's like thin on both sides. And just wait till you see this color, it's so pretty. That's the shade right there, and it just blends really nicely. Isn't that such a pretty color? Like, I love that. My friend Teresa said, you need to try the blushes. They are super long-lasting. So I wore one all day, and by the end of the day, it was still on my cheeks. And so it's the Blush Pop. Let me see here. The one. So that's what it looks like. It kind of looks like a mushroom. 
it's kind of that's the color it's kind of like a really sheer version of this shade it um, is pretty easy to blend it's completely matte and then when you blend it out it just gives the nicest almost like sheer hint of color to your cheeks and I almost want to say that they, it goes on kind of like a stain so it's not more of like a cream pigmented blush like MAC. It's more of like a cream stain because they last all day. Full of Murad things, two products that I think are brand new that they did send me. This is the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion for the lips. I'm wearing this underneath my uh, lipstick today. You're supposed to wear it before putting on your lips. Like you're supposed to put this on prior to like applying your lipstick or lip liner. And I do really love the way that it feels because I feel like it just moisturizes my lips, kind of plumps them up for makeup app or for your like lipstick application, which is super nice. So I have that and then the smoothing skin and lip care as well. This is one of those things where it's kind of like maintenance. You just kind of put it, this is more of like a chapstick and it's really nice. It feels really nice. Oh, so I had like 1400 points. <laughs> And I saved my points because I wish they did the same reward system as Ulta. So I usually save up my points until there's like a 500 point perk, something that I really want. And this one caught my eye. I mean, I haven't spent my points in forever. That's why I have so many. And it's the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dressers. And it's the uh, Invisible Oil family. And that's the back of it. It just has, it comes with the sulfate free shampoo, the conditioner, the heat protectant, and then the transformative oil, which is, that's kind of nice. So I thought that was pretty good. A lot of people love this particular uh, shampoo, even though like, hello, like nothing compares to my Kerastase, but for travel, that's super nice. So that's what it looks like. And it's all in here, but you probably don't need to see it. Threw this in there as well. It's a VIB. I don't know what this is. I think, is it because like of the sale maybe? Oh, that's kind of cute. She also threw this in. So I thought that was really nice of her. I mean, hello, I shop there so much. So then there's the red. I mean, I think that's cute. It feels kind of cheap, but I mean, that would be good for travel or like if you needed something oh, for my yeah. Sephora and like little clothes haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think below. Don't forget to subs subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.